Right. We are looking for the maximum vertical distance between two functions. And so here we have two functions. We have f and g. And it will be important for me to just define those functions first. So g of x is just the function x. And it's just a straight linear function. And f of x is the function x squared. And so I'm looking for the maximum vertical distance between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1. And the way that I'm going to go about doing this is thinking, OK, let's say I wanted to find the vertical distance at any x value. So let's just say any x value. Now, at this x value, what's the vertical distance between g and f? Well, it's the value that, what, that g is at minus the value of what f is at. So in other words, at this particular point, we'll call it x1, x sub 1. The vertical distance between the two functions is going to be the value of g when I plug in x sub 1 minus the value of f when I plug in x sub 1. Now, I could do this for any number of points. Right? I could do this all over the place, but I want to find the maximum. Where is it the greatest distance? And so what would be really great is if I could write a function that would give me the vertical distance at any point in terms of x. And I can. This is where I'm going to use a composite function. So if I take g of x, and I'm subtracting from it f of x, just think about what that is saying. This is the vertical distance for any value x. So if I were to plug in, say, 0.5 here, this would give me the vertical distance when x is 0.5. And I can define this function. g of x is x, and f of x is x squared. So I have x minus x squared. This is the composite function g minus f of x. And that's x squared. Or <clears throat> I should write it the other way around. x minus x squared. So whenever I want to find the vertical distance, I plug in a value that I want to find the vertical distance at, and I can compute it this way. But I want to find the maximum. So do you think it's the best idea to just start plugging things in? Well, I could, but I would never quite be sure. So I want to find the maximum value that this will ever have. Now, the great thing is, is that this, this is a quadratic function. And so I can use this quadratic function to find the maximum value. We know that a quadratic function will have a maximum value when x is ne negative b over 2a. And so I can use this to find my maximum value. So the max will occur when x is equivalent to, and my b value is 1, right? This is my x to the first term. So it will be negative 1 divided by 2a. And a is negative 1, so I have 2 times negative 1. And this is just going to be a negative over a negative, which is a positive, 1 half. So the maximum value will occur when x is 1 half. So g minus f of 1 half will give me 1 half minus 1 half squared and that's 1 half minus 1 fourth which is 1 half. So the maximum vertical distance is 1 half.